Greetings, citizens of East St. Louis. Thank you so much for tuning in with Moments with the Mayor. I am Mayor Emika Jackson Hicks, and as always, it's my pleasure uh, to speak with you today. When I became mayor, I inherited a budget deficit. I immediately put a plan in place to start paying back both pension funds, as well as work to put us on the road to our financial stability. Under my tenure, we will have completed six audits, which will bring the city up to date with audits and establish credit worthiness. Our primary focus is on reducing expenditures, increasing revenues, and promoting economic development in East St. Louis. The city has saved over $1.5 million in the past year and a half by renegotiating contracts with vendors, eliminating several contract obligations, resolving outstanding lawsuits and workers' compensation cases, and decreasing department budgets. Additionally, the city has fully staffed code enforcement, increased the collection of fines and fees owed to the city, and reestablished our regulatory affairs court. My recent appointment to Governor-elect J.B. Pritzker's Transition Committee on Job Creation and Economic Opportunity places me in a strategic position to serve as a catalyst to spark economic development in East St. Louis. We are creating the groundwork to attract development to the city through land clearance of long-standing eyesores, repairing streets, and upgrading lighting. The city's Grow East St. Louis Fund makes $2 million available in loans to small businesses in East St. Louis that are seeking to expand operations and create jobs. Furthermore, we are encouraging developers to take advantage of our newly designated opportunity zones, which gives businesses incentives to invest in our downtown and along our major corridors to transform our city. And the Choice Neighborhoods Grant will assist us in improving our housing stock. Finally, the recent allocation of $95.2 million to complete the East St. Louis Flood Prevention Project is another means by which jobs will be created and attract businesses. There is no easy overnight fix for the issues and challenges facing the city of East St. Louis. My administration is committed to providing solutions and making tough decisions during a time when we are experiencing a record 42% decrease in crime. No one wants to reduce our police and fire departments. I am very committed to working with both unions to avoid personnel cuts and working to bring alternatives to keep the city fully operational. With that being said, it's my earnest desire that again, citizens of East St. Louis will be determined to get involved with the government, to, to be determined to be fully educated about what is going on in the city of East St. Louis. There are many rumors, there are many uh, things that are being said about our government and about our finances, 
But the only way to know for sure is that you get to know for yourself and be educated about it. I can tell you this, I'm excited about the direction, I'm, a, I'm excited about the work that we're doing. The work that we're doing here under this administration has been a very uh, grueling work. Um, it's, not, it's, it's hard work uh, to, to make the changes and the corrections and to, and to um, uh, undo some of the things that we needed to undo uh, under this administration. But what I do want to leave citizens with is that this administration has been very committed to making wrongs right, to getting the city uh, in the di moving the city, let me say that, in the direction that it needs to go. I would encourage you again, come out to our committee and council meetings every first and second Thursday of the month. I look forward to seeing you. I want to hear from you and I encourage any questions that you may have and any issues or concerns that you may have. Thanks again for sharing moments with the mayor.